Hello everybody and welcome to another extra exciting After Effects CS6 tutorial. Today is a special one where I'm going to show you how to make a creepy looking logo with uh, some smoke in it and we're going to use some particle systems and all that jazz. So I want to show you real quick what I made. This was all made in After Effects CS6. There were no um, third-party plugins that you have to download or anything like that. So let's take a look at it real quick. Now the different components here are obviously the uh, background here which looks like cement or something like that and we have the the text here which is kinda crawling like that we got the smoke and we got the different colors and all that stuff so I'll show you how to make all that we'll get we'll close out of that and the first thing we're gonna start out with is by creating a new composition I'm gonna name mine I always name my first comp main since I already have a main already in there that I'm going to use as reference I'm going to name this one main 2 and all my settings here I only need it to be around 15 seconds I'm going to hit OK now um, the first thing I'm going to want to do is create my background so the first thing I wanted to show you guys was how to get like a grungy background so just type into Google grunge and then go to the images and you can find a bunch of grungy backgrounds make sure it's uh, has a decently high resolution and just import that into your uh, into your composition and we'll go from there I'm gonna move my comp into my comps folder I don't need it so everything is all nice I'll delete that I don't need that so I'm gonna to go to my images and my grunge is here it's called O3 now you can see it comes in it has color and everything like that so the first thing I like to do with my grunge is scale it up and uh, that looks right around there it looks pretty decent and we need to make it so it's not all colorized so I'm gonna put a an effect on it called hue saturate and we're gonna desaturate it so color correction hue saturation and all I need to do is move the master saturation down and I moved it to about here or I, I have some color in it but not a lot I don't have any like those purples in there anymore there's a little bit of brown but that's okay I like it that way the next thing I want to do is crush actually I want to make it darker by crushing the white levels in the in the uh, grunge picture so the next effect I'm going to add is effect, color correction, and levels. And uh, levels is one of the more important color correction tools that you'll use. I'm going to move this over so I can see what I'm looking at because the histogram here was uh, covered up. And what I'm going to do is move this white arrow right here and it's going to affect the output white and I'm just going to make it a little darker. maybe a lot darker I found that around 75 was good for me uh, maybe yeah around 70 75 seems good now that's pretty dark there and uh, that's good for the color of our background I'll twirl these up so they're not all over the place the next thing that we should make is a vignette so that the edges of the 
background are like um, darkened and it looks more like creepy the way that we're gonna do that is I'm gonna create a new solid layer layer new solid I'm gonna make this one black and I'm gonna call it vignette vignette that's how it's spelled make sure it's the comp size by clicking on this button and hit OK I'm going to take the ellipse tool and double click and it's going to create a circle that's the size of the comp I'm going to invert that so it's only on the edges I'm going to turn off my mask there and I'm going to go twirl down into my mask properties and head over to mask feather and then we're going to feather this out it's going to darken it also so right about there seems pretty nice now you got these creepy edges where it's uh, very dark and it looks like there's a spotlight kinda on in the middle so I'm gonna split these tutorials into sections because the last time I made this tutorial I spent an hour making it and then the recorder screwed up and I was really really mad so my mouse didn't even move across the screen I figured you guys wouldn't like that so I'm redoing it so we're going to end this part of the tutorial and then I'll see you on the next part